Right now, I'm in the middle of creating a 90-minute tutorial for my new content operating system. This is a rebuild of what I've been creating before. It's going to be epic. I can't wait to share it with you. It's coming out very soon. If you want to see it, make sure you're subscribed because it'll be out within the next week or two. But while I'm here, I wanted to share with you a way to get access into any AI model with just one make.com module. This is important because the previous version of what we were operating in, we had make.com workflows for OpenAI, for Anthropic, and for Perplexity. But what we had to do was build out workflows or routes for every single module. Now, as you can imagine, that got very time consuming and also it made it very hard to update anytime a new model came out. It was very time consuming to jump in there, change the model, save it. If you've worked in make.com, you'll know that the platform's pretty slow when you're trying to make quick changes. So it was just a massive headache. So I was looking for ways to make that better and it actually came from a YouTube comment. I can't remember who, but whoever that was, thank you. They pointed me in a great direction. So we now operate by using this platform called OpenRouter. And if you go to openrouter.ai, go to docs and then come into models and you'll see dozens and dozens and dozens of models of all different types and prices and different token limits and all types of stuff that you can now use. So instead of having to map in all of these individually, we just have this one automation now where we have our open router connection. We have the open router module inside of make.com. And then down here where it says model, we map in the model directly from our, our Airtable where we trigger each automation from. So all we need to do inside of Airtable is have a single select uh, field here where we add in the right code for all of the models that we want to use. So we've got in here OpenAI GPT 4.0, we've got Anthropic Claude Opus and Sonnet, we've got Perplexity, we've got Llama 3, and we've got Google Gemini Flash 1.5. And we could add as many as we want. Any of the AI models that are supported by Open Router, we can add in. And if we wanted to add in a new one, all we need to do is just copy this code here, come across, add in the option to uh, Airtable, and then we select that option before we trigger our automation. Now, this is valuable because if, let's say, OpenAI bring out ChatGPT 5.0, and all we need to do now is just go in, come in and change the code inside of Airtable, and we don't even need to touch our make.com automations anymore. It's as simple as that. I'm very happy with this new finding and very thankful to the YouTube comment that pointed me in the right direction. Now, the one downside is make.com don't have a native module. You need to get this particular plugin from Synergetic. Now, if you have purchased my content automation systems, then I have a 20% discount code in the members area if you do want to purchase from these guys. And there are ways around it, to be honest. You could also use a HTTP module here instead of this module, and you can still get access into Open Router. It does leave it open for maybe potentially a few more bugs. You need to have a little bit more experience and know what you're doing if you do use that type of module. But for 30 euros, this makes it so much easier that you then have access to all of the typical extra settings that you would want when using these particular modules as well, like your temperature and your max tokens and all of that type of stuff. So I want to share this very quick video with you to let you know about this solution. Like I said, there's a few things coming. Number one, the content automation system has been rebuilt. We're on version 2.0 now. I'm gonna have a new 90 minute training coming out very soon. So make sure you stick around for that. If you do purchase in the meantime, you'll get a 20% discount if you do decide to use Open Router. So make sure you check that out in the members area. But very excited to share this update with you and what's to come. See you in the next video.